Well, hello there, plant friends. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm Kate, and today we're doing a Plant of the Month Club um, series. We're starting a Plant of the Month Club. So, um, I have a ton of plants that I absolutely love. So, for the next 12 months, each month I'm going to pick a new plant to share with you. So, if that's something that you're interested in or that you're curious about, well, then just keep watching. <laughs> Also, you guys are gonna to wanna to hit that little subscribe button with the bell because these are going to come out once a month and so if this is what you're here for, you're not gonna to wanna to miss when that notification comes out. Now, the very first plant that we're gonna spotlight is the Columnea Gloriosa. Now, now I know what you're thinking. Everybody has a goldfish plant. I'm, I'm already done, I'm checked out. No, no, wait, wait now. It's going to be the one and only, the purple, goldfish plant you know like the one that you can't find anywhere well I found it okay so I remember hearing a podcast a Jenna and Julian podcast when she was talking about her plants and as an outdoor gardener slowly getting into indoor gardening I was like I want to hear what she has to say so I listened to that podcast and I heard her talking about this plant you guys here it is so she was talking about how she would pay a sketchy guy on Etsy like 20 bucks for this plant. And she's like, you just can't find it. You cannot find it anywhere. Well, guess what, girl? I found it. Here it is. <laughs> so I did a little digging and a little research and I found somebody who sells like all these crazy plants. And so I was like writing them back and forth. I'm like, hey, do you have this plant? They're like, yeah, we have that. We've never heard it called that, but we have the purple goldfish plant. I was like, oh, and 20 bucks, are you kidding? Now, this plant here, what they told me is it does need, it's, it does need sun to keep its um, purple coloring. I don't know how much sun it needs, so I'm kind of playing around with different lighting. So the reason I say that is because here you got this, this spike happening here. I think it's called a spike. I'm not too sure because I'm still learning about this plant and it looks pretty green, right? But if you look at the very, very bottom leaves here, here, one more, wait, where are you? There, you can see a tiny little bit of purple coming through. So I'm kind of hoping that it's just that these leaves are not mature yet and once they mature that they'll turn more purple. So um, I do keep this pretty wet. Um, <laughs> I, I think, you know, I'm trying to make sure that I don't overwater it and I don't underwater it. So one of the things that I personally don't like is the orchid baskets because I feel like it dries out really quickly. But with that said, you're probably not gonna get a lot of like root rot and that would be my biggest concern with this plant now the other thing is that i yeah when i water it i usually just stick like a, another um container that's slightly bigger than this one and then i just let it sit in water overnight it is still really really wet so i must have gave it a good soak but what's cool about this is let's talk about these leaves shall we okay so we have these leaves here, these beautiful purple leaves, and they, so for me, I don't really like texture and fuzzy. I, I'm okay with one or the other, usually fuzzy, not texture. So this one, the actual leaf itself does not look like it has a texture on the leaf, but it has this really soft, like fuzzy feel to it. And then what happens is when it starts growing big enough, like the leaves start cascading over and then you get these beautiful, beautiful red blooms. And when I picked up this plant, I asked one of the workers there, she's like the main person, and she said, oh yeah, like it has a spike, so you have new leaf growing, and then it has also like these, I think these are the blooms, but I don't remember if that's what she pointed to with the blooms. And the blooms are like these beautiful red coloring. So just imagine when this gets big enough, let's just, let's just think back and imagine how gorgeous it's going to look. So anyway, I had to start with this plant. I just, I couldn't, I could not, like I couldn't help myself. This plant does or originate from Central America, so you know, rainforesty type of weather down there. 
and I just am really excited to see her grow. What we could also do, if you guys want, is we could do like a, a check-in, so plant of the month check-in, so maybe in like every six months or so, just to kind of see how much it's grown. So if that is something that you think would be interesting, then leave me a comment down below so I know if enough people are into that, I would definitely do that. And um, yeah, she's our first, you guys. So excited about that. So make sure that, yeah, no, that's it. Okay, bye guys, that's gonna be it. I love, I love this plant. All right, you guys, so here's what I'm gonna have you guys do now. If you want Jenna Marbles to get her plant, you need to share this video on your socials. Tag Jenna, tag Julian, Tag them, tag them, tag them so that we can get her this plant. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys very soon.